2002, Snoop Dogg was awarded Stoner of the Year at the annual Stony Awards in New York City. Here's a never-before-seen interview with Snoop Dogg, conducted in 1999, exclusively for High Times Magazine. Is the, is the weed seen in hip-hop as strong as it was when you came up? Yeah, weed is the most important thing in hip-hop, and that's thankful. I mean, that's, that's a blessing, because when you look at the music industry before hip-hop, cocaine was the biggest shit in the music industry. That's why all our R&B artists and all burnt out, smoked out, nowhere to be found. Where are they now? You know what I'm saying? Just through with money. Because cocaine was the factor in the industry. Now weed is the factor in the hip-hop industry. Because the niggas like us that put it down and continue to push that weed. And weed keeps us aware, you know, because it keeps you paranoid for once. So now you're aware of the bullshit-ass record labels and the shit that they might try to put on you. And you want to have peace because it's a happy drug. So you want to, you know, spread love with the other rappers. You know, you want to say what's happening. And when you smoke weed, it brings people together, man. So. The stoner of the year, Snoop Dogg. Accepting the stony for stoner of the year is Snoop Dogg. Do it to a legal double right up, nigga. I'm saying it. Dang it. Hey, y'all. We finna smoke something on stage right now. We got to do it. Can somebody say smoke that shit? Smoke that shit. Say smoke that, smoke that shit. Say smoke that shit. Smoke that shit. All right, hold on. You got arrested for uh, selling cocaine. Selling cocaine. Yeah, it was fucked up, you know, because a nigga was just trying to make money, you know what I'm saying? I didn't see nothing wrong with it because it was, you know, the only means of making money. As far as the right way, I had a job at Lucky's prior to selling cocaine where I was making like $80 a week. And you know, I was going to work like four or five hours a day. You know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't seeing nothing beneficial from that coming home and the homeboys out there with 1500 2000 fly cars, rims, bitches, weed. And I'm coming home with tight slacks on, penny loafers. You know what I'm saying? That $80 check in my pocket, can't buy shit. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, what you gonna do? And I, hadn't, I didn't have no criminal record, so I was like, fuck it. Yeah. You know, and then as you eventually get into that, the law and shit step in and say it's wrong to make money. Yeah. But they wasn't, you know, paying me for me going to work, so you know, that was that. And I had fun with it when I did it. I'm through with it. I don't fuck with it no more. Uh, so they should legalize drugs like they legalize alcohol, man. It'd be less murders, less robberies. It'd be less crime. It's like a nigga go in the store and get some alcohol or a beer. That keeps shit down. You know what I'm saying? Because a motherfucker can go do that. If a motherfucker go buy him some dope or buy him some drugs or whatever, it will keep the crime right there. You know what I'm saying? I, I think. Got all the real players in the house tonight. Ice-T, Bishop, Magic Wand, Superfly, George Clinton. Yeah. We just want to thank y'all for having us in here tonight. You know what I'm saying? We fucked up right now. We in BB Kings. We drinking, smoking. We loving the ceremonies. And uh, like I said, y'all keep having this type of shit and we're going to keep showing up. Y'all be good. For shizzle, my nizzle. Church. Who will be Stoner of the Year for 2006? Look for the Stony Awards coming up later this year.